What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon China Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be using one of the most underrated evolutions of all time. We got ourselves an Espeon team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my content. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section down below other Pokemon you guys want to see for BDSP because I'm kind of like at the point where I almost showcase every single Pokemon in BDSP. I wouldn't say every single Pokemon, but a good chunk of the main Pokemon that a lot of people want to see. So if you guys have any suggestions that I haven't showcased yet, definitely leave them in the comment section down below. But with that out the way, Let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off with the one and only Espeon over here. And Espeon is a really cool Pokemon. I absolutely love it. And this is actually one of my first times using it in like a competitive battle video. It's got Psychic, or it is a Psychic type, I should say. And it's holding the Citrus Berry as item. Its EVs are fully invested in the special attack and speed. And it's got that magic bounce as its ability. Move set for this Pokemon is going to be Psychic, Calm Mind to get that special defense and special attack boost, Shadow Ball for uh, coverage, and then last but not least, we have Protect on this Pokemon. Cannot wait to hop into some battles and showcase this Mon to its fullest potential. Second Pokemon is going to be Ambipom, and I really just love Ambipom and BSP. Really good, it hits like a truck, and it's really good at Fake Out Control. It's got Fake Out, it's got Double Hit, it's got U-Turn, and Aerial Ace for its move set. Its ability is going to be Technician, and then the item it is holding is going to be that Silk Scarf to boost normal damage. Third Pokemon is going to be Gyarados. Gyarados is just legit one of the best Pokemon in BDSP. Super, super strong. Cannot go wrong with them on any team. It's got Life Orb as item. It is rocking that Intimidate ability, and then moveset is fairly normal with Waterfall, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance to set up, and Protect for its final move. Fourth Pokemon on the team is going to be one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. It is Breloom over here, and I'm super excited that Breloom is actually in Scarlet and Violet because I cannot wait to use it in a competitive rank battle video. This thing has Spore, it's got Mach Punch, it's got Bolt Seed and Protect, it has Technician as its ability, and then its item it is holding is going to be that Focus Ash, so it doesn't die in one shot. Fifth Pokemon is going to be a nice, lovely support Togekiss over here with that Ipapa Berry. It's got Serene Grace as its ability to make flinches happen more often with Air Slash. And then moveset is going to be Air Slash like we already mentioned. You want to put Pokemon to sleep, follow me and protect. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Tyranitar, another great physical attacker for this team, just like Gyarados, you really can't go wrong with him. He's got Protect, he's got Dragon Dance, he's got Crunch and Rock Slide, his ability is going to be Sandstream for that lovely little weather control, and then last but not least, the item he is holding is going to be that Lumberry. But guys, there's the team preview, this is the team that we're rocking out in today's video, let's hop in that Coliseum, look to get some wins with it. First match coming at you guys, we're going up against a pretty cool team. He definitely has Belly Drum Azumarill on it, but he's also rocking the Raichu for Fake Out Control and Lightning Rod, but we have no Lightning Moves. Then he has Pelipper, Blastoids, Dragonite, and Tauros. I feel like I want to lead the Espeon here alongside with maybe the Ambipom lead just to Fake Out. Maybe set up a Calm Mind to kind of roll out from there. We also have Magic Bounce, so if, uh, if, uh, what is, what is that Pokemon's name? If Raichu wants to nuzzle it, it can just bounce back and paralyze it, but I don't know if he could be paralyzed. I do not know. I'm not too sure, but uh, we're going to rock out with the Amipom and the Espeon, and then in the back end, I could bring Breloom. Breloom seems pretty good here up against a few of these Pokemon. It does have Mach Punch that's super effective on the Tauros, and then it has, you know, the Grass Moves for that Breloom, or not the Breloom, for the Blastoise and the Azumarill. So I'm going to lock in both of them, and then my final Pokemon, I could go in with Titar just for a bit more weather control, or I could go Gyarados on its own, but Gyarados, eh, doesn't seem too hot. I like Titar a bit more. I do like Titar a bit more, but the only problem is it's going to be this water Pokemon. But I feel like we can kind of get rid of him with the Breloom and be fine. We go Tokus instead. Or we go Gyarados. I mean, Gyarados, eh, he has a few physical attackers. And we do have an Ice Move with it. Maybe we could go Gyarados. I'm kind of leaning towards Gyarados now. But now nah, I'm going to go Titar here. I just like Titar. Grant some weather control. He has the Pelipper. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. We're locking it in. We're locking it down. And we're looking to grab ourselves a win here in our first battle with Espeon. He's going to go in with these two. Um, okay. I don't mind it. I think I just set up Calm Mind here. Right? Calm Mind set up and fake out the Azumarill. I think it's a solid play. I do not want Azumarill Belly Drumming. That is just scary. That is definitely just scary. So Ambipom's going to outspeed. I knew it would outspeed Raichu, which is huge. And that did some crazy damage. And he's going to go for a fake out. Going to Ambipom. Thank you. So he didn't know that the uh, Ambipom is faster than Raichu. So that was a huge, huge turn for us. We Calm Mind set up. We have a nice little special defense boost now on top of that. And we kind of get rolling here in this battle. So it could U-turn out, which I'm thinking of doing. 
I'm thinking of just you turning here and just uh, psychicking to the uh, the zoomer out slot and then rolling out from there. I like that. Or I could double hit the Raichu, but I'm leaning more towards a U turn just so I could pivot out and get fake out in the back end again. Because Ambi Palm is a beast. I absolutely love Ambi Palm. I think he's one of the best fake out users in this game. In this game, he's just super strong and he's really fast too. Like, look at that. Look how much damage that did. He's just a beast. He's just an all around beast. I really love him. So U turn's gonna pivot out. I am going to bring in. Uh, do I bring in Titar at this point, or do I bring in a Pokemon like Breloom? Kind of lean towards a Pokemon like Breloom just in case Psychic doesn't kill. Even though I think Psychic is going to kill, but Breloom is just solid. I do like Breloom all around. Do I go into Breloom or do I go into Titar? I'm kind of lean towards Titar. Hmm. No, I'm gonna go into Breloom. Just in case he has Pelper in the back end and he sits rain, I can just change weather later instead of just forcing weather all myself. So yeah, I'm going to go Breloom here. I'm going to end up Psychic King and this should KO Azumarill, no problem, right? See you later. Let's go. Let's go. Espeon rolling out strong about number one already. So solid first turn from us and solid second turn. We're looking pretty good here and he is going to nuzzle. Now is this magic bounce back? It paralyzes me? That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I guess it's only for status moves. I guess because that's considered a hitting move. It, it, it's whatever. It's whatever. I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this game. So he's going to nuzzle me down. Um, I am paralyzed now. Uh, Breloom? Hmm. What should I do with Breloom? I feel like I just have to... I feel like I have to paralyze that. Uh, or not paralyze. I feel like I have to put Dragonite to sleep. But I doubt he doubles down to my Breloom. Unless he has dual wing beat rocking all that Dragonite. Which is definitely a possibility. But I don't think he learns. I think he only learns like aerial ace in this game. I think he only learns aerial. Let's see what house one. He goes Blizzard. He blizzards me. Bro, please don't tell me Raichu's going uh, after the Breloom. That'd be very upsetting. That'd be very upsetting. He's going to light screen. Okay, I'm cool with that. I have T-Tar in the back end. I don't mind that turn. I do not mind that turn. So I'm going to spore the Dragonite. This thing landed a double Blizzard. What Dragonite runs Blizzard? <laughs> like, that's just crazy. That's just crazy talk. We're going to end up landing the Psychic. And this should take out the Raichu, yo. Actually, light screen's out, and it still does. Let's go. Espeon rolling out strong. We love it. We love it. We love it. So he's going to go into his next Pokemon, and if Breloom can outspeed, I can drop a... Uh, it's going to be Taurus, and I think Breloom does outspeed. I mean, but Mach Punch can do a bit more damage. I'm just going to roll into a Mach Punch. A lovely little Mach Punch, and what do I do up against this... Uh, this what's it called? This Dragonite. Do I leave it? Do I try to get rid of the Tauros at this point? I think we double down on Tauros. Try to get rid of him. I'm all about getting rid of the Tauros here. I'm gonna mock punch. I'm gonna go into Psychic, and hopefully he's not protecting. I don't think he is. I think we should be fine for this first battle. Does he not protect? He does not. Beautiful. So mock punch comes out here, doing some nice damage. The Psychic should be able to finish it off. Dragonite's gonna be slumped. Tauros is gonna go next, but I wonder who he's going after. He's going for a Zen Head, but that's gonna take out my Breloom. Okay, so Breloom goes out here, and we keep the Pokemon that we're trying to showcase in today's video alive. Espeon is killing. And I love Espeon's tail. Look at it. It's like split in the back. Looks amazing. So Psychic's gonna drop here again, get some nice lovely stab damage, and again, through the light screen, it is doing a crazy amount of damage. Thank you for that calm mind setup. That calm mind setup was huge. But we're down to the last Pokemon. I think like, we just bring out, we could rock slide this thing, but Ambi Palm's the best. I love Ambi Palm. Just gonna roll out into Ambi Palm. I'm gonna drop a fake out this turn. I'm gonna pop a Psychic. But I have an odd feeling. I don't know why. Watch this, guys. I bet you we're paralyzed this turn. I have an odd feeling. Like, I just feel it right in the gut, man. Right in the gut. We're gonna go for a Psychic, and we're gonna go for a fake out here. And our opponent might just quit, but I feel like we're going to be paralyzed this turn. But yeah, our opponent quits, and we take battle number one. So guys, I ended up rematching our same opponent. I was kind of hoping he would switch teams, but it's all good. It is definitely all good. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like he's like predicting the Espeon lead, so I'm not going to go into Espeon. But I definitely need to lead a Pokemon like Amy Palm just for fake out control, especially if he leads a Raichu. We can just fake him out because we know we are faster than that Pokemon. So I'm going to go Amy Palm turn one. I might go Gyarados, or I might just roll out with Titar. Titar's not too bad. Or I could go Breloom. Breloom's not too shabby as a nice little lead. I kind of dig Breloom. Especially if Blastoids or Tauros is going to come out here. Or even Azumarill again. So I'm going to go Breloom. I'm going to go Ambipom. I am going to bring, I think, Titar again in the back end. It's just a solid little Pokemon. And then last but not least, we can roll in with Espeon again. Or we can roll in with Gyarados. So it could be same team, different order. Or I can switch it up. Huh. What do I want to do with this one? I want to go Gyarados. I really don't... I think Gyarados gets as much value as like the other two Pokemon. I could go Togi. Do I want to go Tokus? And you know, only he's rocking Air Slash, but still Air Slash isn't bad with Serene Grace. A lot of flinches. No, let's let's run it. Let's run it up. 
we won't use Espeon in this battle. We were using it all in that first battle. It did not die. I think every single turn it got off a of Psychic or a Calm Mind. Like we Calm Mind first turn and then it was just Psychic, 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 Psychic. Drop Pokemon left and right. This is a really good lead for us. I adore this lead. <laughs> I adore this lead so much. So we're just going to fake out the Raichu. And I could Spore, but I just feel like a Bullet Seed with Technician is just going to rip into it. And I could double down the Raichu, which I'm kind of leaning towards. I'm not even going to lie. Right, Blastoise. There's no way Blastoise stays in here. He's got to protect. I'm going to go into the Raichu here. He's got to protect or, or, or swap, right? There's just no way he stays in here with Breloom on the field. There's just no way. So I'm just going to double down the Raichu try to get rid of it. Let's see. This dude's thinking, yo. Hopefully he just protects. Hopefully I make the right call here. Yeah, there it is. There it is, yo. Your boy gets the hard read right off the rip. What a play. What a play by Jeans. And we can pretty much say bye-bye to Raichu, right? Oh my god, fake out! <laughs> Yo, Ambipom, Technician Ambipom with that Silk Scarf does so much damage with the normal moves. But Bulb Seed's gonna fly through here. We're gonna say bye bye to this Raichu. This dude is not having it. This dude's definitely upset. He's definitely upset that we made the hard read on him. I wouldn't be surprised to see him quit this battle. I would not be surprised to see him quit this battle. He's gonna go into Tauros here. And at this point, I'm sure the Bulb Seed onto the left side. He's gonna intimidate me. Bulb Seed will still take out that Blastoise all day. And then, do I U-turn or do I uh, double hit? I'm leaning more towards a U-turn. I am leaning more towards a U-turn. I'm going to U-turn, just get rid of Intimidate, and have Fake Out come out in the back end. Then I'm just going to slide this Bullet Seed over onto the Blastoid slot, and it's pretty much GG's. We're just steamrolling our opponent. We're just steamrolling. So we're going to swap back. I feel like at this point, we just go into a uh, Pokemon like Togekiss. Get, get a lot more value out of it, because the Zen Headbutt's probably going to fly into the Breloom. And trigger focus ash. Breloom's gonna take out Blastoids. And then we can just protect our Breloom with uh Balmies and stuff like that. And that's exactly what happens. So Bullet Seed's gonna fly. How many times is it gonna hit? Can it hit four times? I think I need to Oh we get a crit. Hit it one more time. We get a crit. Thank you. <laughs> and this thing goes down. Wow, yo. Crit out of the bullet seed. We love it. See you later, Blastoids. We're just running this battle. We're doing so good. We're doing so good. So he has Tauros left. Obviously, we can mock Punch it, which I wouldn't mind. I might just go into Follow Me and just start mock Punching this Tauros down. I think Dragonite's got to be his last Pokemon, right? Now, it's going to be Azumarill, and Azumarill's a little scary. Um, Azumarill is definitely a little scary. And you know what? Instead of Follow Me, I am just going to yawn this Pokemon, just in case he wants to set up a Belly Drum. I'm just going to do that, and I'm just going to mock Punch and get off as much damage as I can into this Tauros slot. I just can't deal with a Belly Drum Azumarill. It's just not happening. So Mach Punch is going to fly, do a decent amount of damage, then Headbutt's going to miss, which is gorgeous, which is lovely. <laughs> we dodge a Zen Headbutt. That's huge. Is this thing going for the Belly Drum? No, it's going straight for a Player Off. That's fine. And Player Off doing some mean damage. Some mean, mean damage. But we know we have speed. That's pretty much GG. We're just going to start Air Slashing, and we're just going to Mach Punch across into the Tauros, and this match is over. This match is over. 2-0. and We're definitely going to find a brand new opponent, go, go up against a brand new team in battle number three. But yeah, we are just killing it. We are killing it. So guys, final battle coming at you guys. And we are going up against a weird team. He has Clefairy and Happening, but I do not think he's going to be bringing those two Pokemon. It is a 4v4 match. He's definitely bringing the Houndoom, the Mew, the Jirachi, and the Patchery. So I'm down to verse it. I'm down to get after it for you guys. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed the video. And if you guys are, make sure you leave a like on it. Make sure you leave a like. But we're definitely going to lead the Espeon. We're going to roll out with the Espeon. We're going to try something different. We're not going to lead the Ambipom, even though the Ambipom would be the best play. So I'm just going to go Espeon, and I might even go Gyarados here. Set up a Dragon Dance and Calm Mind, double up on the side, and kind of roll out from there. So yeah, I'm going to go in with them too, and then I'm just going to bring Tokus in the back for support, and then bring my favorite Pokemon, Breloom, right? Do I bring Breloom? Or t -tar's a little bit better. I do like T-Tar a tad bit better here. So I'm going to go T-Tar. Let's lock it in, let's lock it down, and let's grab ourselves a perfect record for this Espeon video. But yeah, those first ba two battles were awesome. We, we played really well, we made some great reads, and just played perfectly, I feel like. But he goes Pachirisu alongside with Houndoom, and eh, I could protect this turn, which I'm kind of leaning towards. Intimidate's going to come out here. Hopefully that is a physical attack. Houndoom, a lot of them are special though. Especially when I use my Houndoom, I roll out with a special attacking one with Dark Pulse and, uh, and Flamethrower. That worked really well. But I'm just going to do this, and I think I just protect. I, f I feel like a protect's got to come out here. Let's see what Patchy does, because I feel like Patchy might just come after just Gyarados, right? Let's see. Combine's going to set up. We, it shows that we have speed. My Espeon's rather fast. It is a, a uh, timid Espeon, so it has a nice lovely speed boost. And its EVs are fully invested in the speed. 
Let me get that. He's gonna go for. Oh, oh no, he goes for a beat up into that. Okay. I thought he was gonna go for like a, a justified kind of thing. They beat up into my Espeon. That's half damage. That's pretty good. But we do have a Citrus Berry, which finally pops. That's our first time using our Citrus Berry with the Espeon. So we get some nice HP back. I have Calm Mind set up. And Pachirisu, go for my Gyarados, please. Electro Ball. Yeah, cool. Dope. Awesome. We like that. We don't mind it. We do not mind it. Uh, I'm just going to go into a Psychic here. And if he stays in, I'm cool with that. I'm surprised he kind of stayed in with the Houndoom. Now I can just drop a Waterfall. He doesn't protect so Psychic's gonna fly here. Calm Mind plus one. It's KO. It does. That's, this match is over. This match is over. Garrett is gonna outspeed. Garrett is gonna say bye bye to Houndoom all day long. Unless it's Sash. But I don't think it's gonna be Sash. Yep, see you later. And yeah, it, it, it's GG's. Easy third and final battle. We've just been dominating and killing it on the BDSP ladder. BDSP is so much fun to play. I, I love playing BDSP. You just get like such a cool variety of Pokemon that you haven't really used before. And Sword and Shields are so repetitive right now with Series 13. But it has been fun to use some off-meta Pokemon in Series 13 like I've been. So hopefully you guys are still enjoying the Series 13 content. But yeah, this is this is just a nice little change of pace. Because like Series 13 is just like every single opponent you go up against has Sassian, Shadow Rider, Kyler, Kyogre, Groudon. Like you're like, come on, man. Use something different. Use something different. But it's the name of the game right now. But now we get to use our coverage move Shadow Ball. And this is just, this is just GG. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a Dragon Dance here. I'm just gonna go for a Dragon Dance, but let's see how our opponent plays this one. Shadow Ball's gonna fly. It's probably gonna be like, yo, how does this Espeon take out my Mew? See you later. Oh, no, it survived? It survived on one. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it survived on one. I wanna see if we can take out Jirachi in one shot, but they might take out my Espeon here. I'm kinda scared of. Mew goes for Mew? Mew has fly? <laughs> I know Mew learns like every move. But like, I wasn't expecting this thing to fly. That's hilarious. Wow, that, that did some big damage right there. I'm just gonna Shadow Ball again. I'm just gonna do this, and I guess we'll double down into the Jirachi just in case this doesn't kill. It's fine. So we're just gonna use Waterfall. Oh, I wish Espeon would've went first. I wish Espeon would've went first. I want to see how much damage the Shadow Ball could do to the Jirachi. But I think their stats are very similar to Mew and Jirachi. Right? I think they're the exact same. So I think it would have been the exact same, right? Correct? Makes a lot of sense. Makes enough sense, right? But we take out Jirachi and he's just gonna fly here. And are we looking for sweep? We are looking for sweep. That's gonna be GG's. That's a little sweep. Finish off today's video. You guys gotta love it. You guys gotta love it. Rather short battles, rather quick, but hopefully you guys still do enjoy it. But yeah, we're just gonna waterfall, we're just gonna drop a shadow ball, and does our opponent quit? I mean he should. Both my Pokemon out to speed. We still have two Pokemon in the back end. And he doesn't quit. He lets this poor little Mew die out here. And we grab ourselves a sweep in battle number three. And more importantly, grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A perfect record for today's video. And I am super excited that we got to showcase Espeon to its fullest potential. Battle number one, we set up the combine and we just dominated from there. Battle number two, we made some great reads and ended up winning the battle without Espeon. Then battle number three, we grab ourselves a nice, lovely sweep and just cleaned up the battle for today's video but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positive today i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody